So Marvel Games head of creative, who of course is Bill Roseman, recently talked about the fact that Marvel's Avengers video game and Marvel's Spider-Man on PlayStation are not set in the same universe. And there is a specific reason that he decided to do this, so let's get into it. So it wasn't too long ago where Marvel Spider-Man was a brand new video game and everybody was talking about it and playing it and we still didn't know much about Marvel's Avengers. And there was a lot of speculation and people trying to connect the dots on if these were in fact going to be connected. Now there was a lot of reasons why you could look at it and say, well yeah, of course they are. Spider-Man mentions that the Avengers aren't in New York right now because they're gone to the West Coast for something. Then we see the trailer and we realize that the Avengers are on the West Coast and they're opening a new facility and everything falls apart. Again, there was quite a few references made. Recently, Roseman did sit down and talk about the idea because he did originally tease that they wanted to do for video games what they did with the MCU, which is make it all a shared universe. And he said, and I quote, each game is in the Marvel Universe, but they are in their own reality, if you will. Currently, our plan is to keep each game set in its own Marvel Universe. And then he goes on and elaborates on this, saying that it gives the people the most amount of freedom to be able to tell the story they want and not have to play around with everything else and what might be happening over there and what's this character doing and what's that character doing. Can this character show up here? Can they mention this thing? Because obviously you're going to run into some problems. Now, this makes sense not just from a creative standpoint but also from a limitation standpoint between the studios because again insomnia games and sony you know yeah they're friends but they're also rivals they gotta sell more copies than the other guy so again this poses a lot of problems in there and it's probably for the best that they decided to take this approach to the entire universe because again this could, in the long run, be a bigger problem than anything. Now, before people get mad at them and start saying, well, they should have just done it anyway, again, would you rather take a small build-up approach that takes, let's say, 10 years, right? And maybe they do end up crossing over due to some mega event video game or something? Or would you rather take the DCEU approach where they go, well, we just got to do it because the other guy did it, so throw it all together. It doesn't matter if it contradicts plot elements and whatever. Again, it's careful and why would people even want it right i understand you want spider-man with the avengers but he's gonna be coming and it's gonna be a brand new spider-man so we get another iteration of spider-man in video game form while there's multiple versions already existing in live action and cartoons and everything i mean the spider-verse just keeps on expanding and i think us as fans we win because nobody is really being held down by creative decisions trying to make it all connect. 